Yeah, I'm okay, sure. just walk, just walk. So we've got some key areas of interest today, looking at um, the Cabana CBD, other locations of interest within the city, we've got uh, Waitangi Park around the skate park, uh, reports of a lot of use congregating around there. Uh, the other location of interest, we've got the Bunnings car park there off Tory Street, again at the preloading, side loading through there, so that will, will get our attention in that area again throughout the night. Just seeing if everyone's safe. Uh, it is an alcohol ban area as well, so making sure people aren't consuming alcohol in the park. And, you know, offering any help that we can, with all what we might come across. We make sure we patrol in areas where we've had incidences in the past, or where demand has been recently. So side loading or pre-loading is, is a really big issue that we, uh, that we do have here. And that's all about breaching liquor ban, so we're really trying to educate people about the liquor ban and not coming into town and drinking in the streets and going and being safe in the city or even in the clubs. It's all about drinking responsibly and making sure they're getting home safe. Hello. Hi. How are we today? You guys got any alcohol in the car? Hello? Got any alcohol in the car? Yeah. Oh no. I was just asking. Do you guys know you're in a liquor ban area? Oh well. Who's a, who's a sober driver tonight? Who's the sober driver tonight? Brother, he's coming, he's out, he just left. But oh, we okay. can call him. Yeah. And like, do so, us to go. How much alcohol have you got in the car? Just a whole box. A whole box? Those are empties. Those are empties? They're empties. Do you guys know what the amount of fine? No? It's $250. Well, you could stay here, just the, the alcohol can't be... Well, we've got ID if you want to see our ID. You can drink at home. You can drink in the clubs, but not in public. Oh, you could just get rid of the alcohol. Yep. Cool. Yeah, mate. Just put that down for us. Yeah, hold on to it. Yeah, you got it. No, it's a liquor band, mate. I can't be drinking in the liquor band. Yeah, sorry. That's the last one. What'd you get here for? Uh, a random check off the street. So we're like, I'm actually going home. So we uh, came across a male who had a uh, open vessel of uh, alcohol. Um, spoke to the male, advised him that he was breaching the liquor ban that was in place. Uh, he claimed that he wasn't aware that there was a ban in place. Uh, so we uh, issued him with a warning and gave him some education around the ban itself. Um, so at 10 p.m. tonight. Um Myself and my partner, we were patrolling the streets. Uh, we were alerted by uh, the camera base that there was an assault occurring on Cuba Street. Um, so we attended the scene um, and arrested a female for assault. And um, she's currently located here in the um, Wellington Police Station. Um, and we are reviewing footage of that assault um, the cameras clearly show us what has happened um, and who has been involved and it allows us um, to make uh, decisions based on what we've seen. Yes, yeah, so we're out here on Courtney Place with PSU and PST. Um, as you can see, it's well, yeah, maybe a below average night, um, but had a few jobs so far. A lot of medical events tonight, so it's keeping me busy. Uh, so yeah, we've come across uh, two intoxicated females. Um, paramedics being called, they shouldn't be too far away. You can see quite a bit of this um, in the summer night. Um, they're all good, um, but yeah, the paramedics will be able to come along here and do an assessment and go from there. Can't find out who they are, can't get any details out of them, we'll take them to hospital ourselves. Yep. Um, if they're aggressive or agitated, mm -hmm. might have to go themselves until they calm down. It's always good it's, it's it's probably when you've got like, um, friends like that, that are quite sober, that can actually look after them. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's tough when they're by themselves. We had our incident earlier uh, where we uh, had a member of the public wave us down. Uh, they had concerns that there was an intoxicated male behind uh, 
uh, his will, his attempting to drive home. Um, we managed to locate this male um, and conducted a breath test. Uh, as a result, uh, he is going to court. He um, blew three times over the legal limit. Um, and yeah, he'll be attending court at a later date. Um, after that, we decided to take him home. Um, and we thought, you know, we'd, we'd do that um, just to ensure that he gets home safely. And it's, um, it's all about building trust and confidence in the, uh, in the community. So um, he was very thankful for that and uh, he appreciated that. Go, go that extra mile for him. So we're more than happy to help out where we could. Uh, but at the same time, we gave him some advice and um, yeah, he, he took that on board. So hopefully he won't do it again. Intoxicated male, he's uh, trying to get to the bar down the road here. Uh, they've denied him entry due to his uh, level of intoxication. Uh, he has then pushed the bouncer and has taken off. Uh, he's caused another, another scene uh, down here at this bar uh, where officers have come down and intervened and arrested the male. Pretty much tonight we've just been walking around, uh, catching up with people, obviously, and then Anyone drinking in public in the liquor van, we've either given them a warning or unfortunately had to give them a $250 fine. Uh, so a bit of an expensive night for some, but um, yeah, lessons learnt, I guess. Probably an hour to closing, so we'll see how we go. It's your bottle. <coughs> Breaching the liquor van. <coughs> is, that your, is that your friend? Yeah, that's my friend. Yeah, no, so he's just, um, he's breaching the liquor van by consume the alcohol, so we're just going to go issue him with a warning, give him a bit of education about it. Alright, so that's fine. Hey, is he going to get any charge for it? No. Okay, just no bottles on the streets or something? Yeah, you can't, you can't be drinking out on the street like this. Alright. Yeah. If you're going to be drinking, it has to be in the clubs. He's not getting arrested, but he can't be out here drinking. Alright, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah, so right now we're just down on Blair Street, myself and my partner. We're out here just um, patrolling the area, ensuring that the the public is safe and uh, um, enjoying themselves. Um, we've got our other unit that are just a bit further down. What we try to do is ensure that we have uh, visual contact with each other so we can kind of wave out to each other if need be for assistance, that sort of thing. Um, what we've tend to found is that our sort of presence does prevent uh, crime and victimisation. <clears throat> so it is important that we are visual and we are um, present to the public. Uh, so, yeah, essentially our main purpose here is to uh, ensure that uh, we can prevent crime and victimisation. Um, we want to ensure that everyone can come out here and enjoy themselves and have a good time. Uh, but at the same time, we want people to feel like that they can come and approach us. Um, if they have any questions or anything like that, we can help them in any way we can. Uh, we're not out here just trying to arrest people. Uh, we want to try to provide any sort of help. These guys are out here to protect the streets.